Hey everyone, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. With the influx of new players at the moment thanks to the Fallout TV show, I wanted to do a kind of video just showing 5 common mistakes or tips to new players which will hopefully help you out massively out in Appalachia. Now on the topic of new players, if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and I'll keep you up to date with everything Fallout 76 which will be absolutely massive for you if you are new to the game. With all that being said though, let's dive straight into the 5 top tips. Now starting out fresh in Fallout 76, you will be given two different options when leaving the vault. You can either leave as your level 1 character where you would level up straight away when you leave the vault to level 2, or you have the choice now to skip straight to level 20 and you can actually choose a kind of very basic kind of perk layout for one of the builds that you see on the screen. Now my advice would definitely be skip to level 20. Some people may argue that you should just go out and fully embrace and experience it, but realistically starting at level 1 and starting at level 20 is not not really much difference between the two and the perks of which you will have a kind of basic loadout to help you kind of understand what perks will help you but also it will give you some star weapons just to give you a little bit of a head start out there. At number two is of course which quest line are you going to follow at first. This can be a little bit confusing at first because it's straight coming out of the vault you will get given a couple of options for different quests. Now for me it all boils down to two different options, you can either go with the original main quest line which will give you a kind of explanation and the story behind the game, the whole kind of thought process and explain to you basically why there's flying bats flying around, or you can do the Wastelanders quest line. For me personally you've got a 50-50 here, whether you want to learn the actual story of the game I would then go and do the following the path of the overseer. But if you really want a good head start in the game, I would definitely advise you to go down the route of completing the Wastelanders, which will send you to the Weirwood first. This then will allow you to start earning gold bullion, which then will kind of grant you access to some of the top tier weapons in the game, and also the top tier armors. So definitely something I would advise when starting out new in the game. If you are new and you don't know what gold bullion is and all that type of thing, then make sure to follow the link in the top right corner of my screen towards the end of the video where I've got an other guide on basically telling you exactly what gold bullion is, how to get it and everything like that. Now one thing in my opinion which I think people miss out on when starting out fresh is public events. When you first start now, joining a public event where a bunch of online people may seem a little bit daunting, especially when you're a low level and haven't really got like all the gear that you think you need or anything like that. However, the public events are a great way to start out, get you leveling up, but also get you some of that legendary gear that you want. Most public events will reward you with legendary, so whether it be armor or weapons, and they're also a lot of fun, so I definitely recommend you jumping in and doing the odd few in between quests. And the main public events will be on every 20 minutes, so literally on the hour, then 20 minutes after that, and so on and so on. And it will give you on-screen notification when one starts out. So definitely just keep an eye out for some when they pop up. Now at number 4, one big tip which I would definitely recommend against is hoarding items. A lot of people when they first start out decide that they'll need to pick up every single weapon and use every weapon that they find. This is definitely not the case at all and kind of just go off a basis of definitely trying things but don't worry about picking everything up. You'll quite quickly come to realise which guns are good, which ones you want to focus on and stuff but definitely guys, legendaries are the best ones and try and stick to a weapon that fits your build so if you do skip level 20 and you pick a commando build you want to stick with an automatic rifle not a pistol keep away from pistols a big thing with holding items as well it takes up a lot of your inventory space whether that be your stash box at your camp or whether that be just your player inventory which starts off pretty low when you first start now now on the topic of holding items and inventory space one of the biggest challenges in fallout 76 is definitely managing your inventory one big mistake which i know i did very very early on in the game was accidentally storing junk items in my stash box now basically what you want to do is make sure to be scrapping all of your junk and also collecting junk as you're wandering around because you will need junk to repair weapons repair your armor to build up your camp all that type of stuff basically resources are very very important in this game but if you're picking up like whole items and then storing the whole items here like a fuel tank in your stash box then it's going to start weighing you down and it won't take long before your stash box is actually full so definitely scrap it at a workbench and then stash it in your stash box that's five really common mistakes and tips to try and keep you on the right path I suppose in Fallout 76 when you're just starting out so I hope this really did help you out if it did hit that like button make sure to subscribe I will have some more guides coming out as well as all the news and everything surrounding Fallout 76 so definitely stay tuned for all of that. 
All that being said though, thank you all for watching and feel free to drop your tips down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, bye bye.